All right, guys, let's do this thing. Uh, this is an assembly video for the Ankylosaurus that is showing up on 3dktoys.com. This was sculpted by Sean Warren of Paleo Trailer, uh, utilizing the 3DK pinport system. And uh, we're gonna go on and get this thing rolling because I don't have a lot of time. Uh, and I hope this video is as clear as possible. It's a real cute sculpt. Uh, I really think he's gonna end up looking good next to a lot of the Imaginext dinosaurs. So let's get this thing rolling. Hopefully this is just the first of a number. So uh, I'm gonna start with the hind legs. Uh, then we're gonna go to the front legs. Uh, these larger ballpoint pens are for the hind legs. Obviously those are for the front. So these guys. Um, they can, either one of these pins can go to either one of these legs. I've got it designed so that you can angle the pin and then that just pops in. And then I'll rotate it up just a little bit so that it'll make it easier to install on the body. Likewise on this guy, second verse, same as the first, pop it in, good to go. Now we go to the front arms. Again, there's a notch cut out so you can angle these guys in and then just pop them in. Likewise, other arm, angle, pop in, good to go. All right, uh, the one thing that I like to do uh, for assembling the body is uh, I like to get some pliers. So I've got these pliers right here. Who knows, uh, by the time I post this, there might be an affiliate link if you wish to purchase some pliers. But you take these pliers, it's just easier on their fingers. You pop them right in there in the pin ports. These are the typical 3DK pins. We also, on the 3DK Toys website, we have friction pins that you can use if you wanna use those. Um, I put this next one in. You'll see that they're perpendicular to one another, right? Okay, um, so here's the body. The, the, so this is the back half of the body. Here's the front half of the body. Just put that in. And they pop. You're gonna have a little bit of a wiggle. There's a little wiggle there. Uh, you know, it just it just happens with some of the tolerances of the pins. Of course, you can do various things. You can glue these things. You can do whatever to help them keep from wiggling. But you know, it's really not that big of a deal uh, to me, at least. So uh, I don't mess with it. For these guys, I like to to install the back legs. I like to use the the notch on the bottom of this pin and I and I put that notch in first and then I just push 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 well there we go it pops in it is snug if uh, you know it shouldn't break there's there's a fair amount of material there uh, but if it does break it's easy to print another one if need be likewise on the other side and now we got two hind legs on this torso. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? This model is, has not been cleaned very much, so this is pretty much straight off the printer bed. All right, likewise, with the front, we're gonna jump to this guy. These should be a little easier, given that the pin is smaller. Okay, likewise, there's the bottom. I'm gonna catch it in the, in the hole, and then push, 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 push. Got a bad angle. There we go, there we go. All right, there we have it. We have some legs. This guy is looking more and more ready to hang out. Look at that body. Isn't that cute? I really like that. I think uh, what Sean sculpted really lends itself to uh, nice painting. It's real easy to just do like a quick surface paint. And I'll probably, I'll do some pictures of, uh, of a painting technique as soon as I can. Uh, and that'll be on the website and, and on our Instagram feed. So, uh, for the head, you know what? I'm gonna use this for the head as well, just to make it a little easy. This one's this one's pretty easy to put in. It's not that big of a deal. So that's in there. You can see that it rotates. And this one, uh, this one's pretty easy to just push on. There's not really a preferenced uh, way to put the, the pin through on the post, the, the cross post, it'll just snap on. So this is printed at 100% scale. Uh, of course, if you shrink it down or you enlarge it, 
some of these uh, assemblies uh, things might change. Along with the print, you also, or the body, you get a variety of different eyeballs. Of course, I printed these out in the same color as the rest of the, the dinosaur uh, right now. You might not want to do that whenever you print out yours. I'm, I'm going to use the pupil eyes today because it, it makes it look like he's looking more straight ahead. So you just push those in. They should, they fit pretty snug. Oh, they will come out. With the eyes, you might need to do some glue or, or maybe some double-sided tape. I've got this double-sided foam tape and I'm just doing little squares of the foam tape on the inside of the eyes and that, that'll be fine to hold them in place. Again, typically 3DK toys, we don't, uh, we don't like to have any sort of movement with things like we we or we like them to snap into place and them stay there uh but uh sean has sized this for doll eyes and we think they look marvelous so if you want to do that yourself uh that is that is something you can do all right um uh, so there he is that's the ankylosaurus of course there's two other sets of eyes uh, one of them is plain for you to do your own pupil. One of them is another type, a different style of pupil. And then you've just got this guy. And he looks, he's just a, a fun, fun little dinosaur. Let's see if he can. He's good. Easy to paint. Silly. Lots of, you know, good amount of character. Uh, here's, here he is with Boone. I don't know if the things are getting blown out. It's hard for me to see. <laughs> I hope they're not. Uh, so there he is hanging out with Boone. And, you know, you can see how they, they scale. Uh, so here, here they are <clears throat> together. Here they are with a number of the Imagine X dinosaurs. Give me an idea. Scale. I don't have... I don't have any other Imagine X figures here, though. I only have the dinosaurs. <laughs> it's the, the nature of what I'm interested in. So there's a. So they kind of they look good. They look good together. Um. Let's see what else. Uh, I guess this might help for some scale. There's an amiibo. <laughs> amiibo. So anyway, well, uh, you get the idea. I hope that was fun. Uh, let's see. So whenever complete, he is going to measure about four and a half, four and three quarters inches. That's pretty good. Uh, the print time, uh, let's see. What was I doing print wise? He has an infill of about 5%. Uh, layer heights are about uh, 0.2 millimeters. Um, I don't know anything about the travel time. All I can say is uh, right now, this is an easy classroom project uh, to do in multiple sessions. Uh, you can easily print this guy out through the course of a day, uh, no problem. And, I mean, you might even be able to do it in the morning or an afternoon. So, that's it. This is Ankylosaurus, uh, available now on the to download and 3D print on 3dktoys.com. If you want to check out and get a pre-printed Ankylosaurus, if you like the mold, and want to get one with doll eyes pre-installed, check out Paleo Trailer on Etsy. Uh, there will be a link in the description. Uh, he's also just easy to find. And um, that's it, guys. I hope you like it, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.